Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Anthony Johnson and Francis Ngannou. Well, DC, you may want to retire before this guy becomes the number one heavyweight contender. Francis Ngannou, the power threat, born in Cameroon, raised in France, and has carved out quite a nice niche here thus far in the UFC. Yes, he has. He's a very scary fighter. The knockout reel of Francis Ngannou is crazy, and the names now are starting to pile up. When you can knock out Alistair Overeem, Curtis Blades, and Cain Velasquez, people will take notice. It's just this confidence and this calmness about Francis that makes him even scarier than all of his physical attributes is his ability to really stand in there and know that it only takes one shot and he could be wearing a UFC championship. And UFC 218 was so good that that knockout of Alistair Overeem did not even earn Francis Ngannou a bonus. Wow, that's insane. Don't that's shoot, not true. Don't shoot the message. I will shoot the message. Don't shoot Ngannou, he'll come right to it. <laughs> All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the day for this heavyweight fight. Ngannou is 33. Johnson is 36. Ngannou weighed in at 250 pounds. He will have a five inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC! Heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France. Francis, the Predator and God. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 6 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Anthony Rumble Johnson! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Or it's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. 
Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be in there. Yeah, yes. absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right. You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you got to get out of those positions where he's... Oh, oh he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Straight right hand, no good. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. And both guys really throwing with authority. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. He seems to have timed that counter pretty well. Oh, he moves right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands. And he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Ngannou. Blocks the shot. Oh, strong punch there by Johnson. Oh, well, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And Ghana's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of strength. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. An uppercut in. Oh, big left. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. I don't know about you fighting this guy, man. Aren't you coaching high school wrestling yeah, instead? Yeah, I'm going to right now, Stan. I'm going to say, Ngannou, I say, I got to turn up this week, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Straight right, he misses. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Slips to avoid the right. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Effective punch there by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. A beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly for his opponent to react. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. He blocks the punch. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds. Beautiful strike. Final seconds here. Nice body shot there. Five minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man going to earn his money tonight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Oh, 
All right, round two. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ngannou's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Johnson gets caught with that punch. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. down there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just over three minutes to go. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. What a fight we got going on here! Oh, straight right! All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels awfully good. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Overeem. Put out the last step. Put out Dos Santos. And he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons in all of his martial arts. Oh, that one appeared to stun him. Big diving punch land. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And now he's got the tie clinch. Beautiful kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, the striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Well, there are a few 
Nothing's more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of... And what a round! All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice loop with punch. Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, big left hook there! Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Some fighters don't check it. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact... Whoa! He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Thought he's going to attack a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to... Oh, no! Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, yeah. wow! shot to end the fight right there it couldn't have landed much more flush than it did and i'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming quite frankly so near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the ko tomorrow. well another highlight for the real dc as we look back at that scintillating knockout yeah but the whole fight he was landing great strikes kicks punches he was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at two minutes, 14 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator Engano! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.